Hi, my name is Corey Budishak, and I'm going to be introducing you to the course Digital World, otherwise known as ECE0832. And really this, this first video that you're gonna be watching is really what you'll be learning in the course. So there's two main objectives. The first is to gain a basic understanding of technology and how it might change in the future. And the second is to apply this knowledge to your career goals. And I'll be specific at the end as to how you're going to do that. But let's, this course is broken down into 10 units and let's dive a little bit into each unit just to give you a flavor for the course and hopefully to um, get your interest peaked a little. The first unit we're going to go for is um, just how a computer works. So one of the main basic building blocks of technology is computers of all kind, whether it be phones or desktops or laptops or, or, or whatnot. So um, just to give you an idea of kind of some things that we'll be discussing in the class, and again, just to pique your interest, I, I picked some news articles or some interesting um, images or whatnot to share with you for each unit. So a good example is that, um, Apple just came out with a desktop Mac Pro that costs over $52,000. Um, a little fun fact is that um, you can get $400 wheels for it, but we'll be more discussing what's inside that computer and what's inside all computers and what makes them tick and what makes them work. And also how you might wanna choose a computer for a certain career field or a certain application. So that'll be unit one. Unit two is going to cover data. So one thing, one phrase that I really like is that uh, data is the new oil. Um, and in this case, um, this author thinks that's a good thing. Um, and so we're really gonna think about how data is stored in a computer um, and how that's made up. And we're gonna use that in many of our other applications later on in the course. The third one is an introduction to computer programming. So computer programming is a skill that many people are learning and is in high demand. Um, we're not going to make you um, computer programmers as your career, but we're going to give you a little taste um, because at some point in your career, you probably will have to talk to a computer programmer, and it's always nice to have a little bit of knowledge about what they do. Um, so again, just another little news article. Um, some people even think in the future, coding might perhaps be a, um, you know, a basic literacy, literacy skill like math or English. Um, I'm not so sure by that argument, but um, it's a sort of an interesting thing to think about. So the next unit, unit four, we'll be covering is communication. And that's, we're gonna be covering um, a lot of things in this unit, um, such as encryption and internet basics. And one thing that's really coming up is the transition from 4G, which you probably see on your phone, to 5G, um, which is a much faster way to communicate. And we'll talk about the implications of that. And then a lot of these things sort of come together um, to form something that's called um, Industry 4.0. So we're gonna talk about Industry 4.0, but the basic idea is that it's a lot of these technologies coming together that we're gonna talk about in this course to really bring together um, a fourth industrial revolution. So again, this is just an article about how that's going to affect business um, and accelerate business, um, but we will talk a lot more about that in the class. We'll also look at, um, there's a lot of data being generated um, and, and we'll look at some of the ways we can visualize it. This is just one way to um, visualize some data um, about garbage dumps in the ocean and different um, ocean um, currents and whatnot. So um, we'll talk about that a little bit because sometimes there's so much data out there, it's easier if you can really digest it in a visual manner and um, if you can make sense of complex data visualizations, it really helps. So next we'll talk about high performance in cloud computing. So the biggest thing in cloud computing, you've probably seen commercials or ads for um, AWS. Um, I know they're all, all the time when I'm watching the NFL games. And it's a big business for Amazon, actually. It's one of their main profit generators. So um, AWS is a um, high performance computing and cloud computing service, and we'll talk about what that means and why that's important. And then one of my favorite units is um, artificial intelligence. So um, this recent article just came out that um, a Google artificial intelligence can um, spot breast cancer um, better than human experts. So um, it's not just you know learning how you talk or, um, or spotting dogs in a picture. 
um, it's, it has a lot of real world applications. So another um, thing we want to do is we want to actually get an application of some of this stuff, so some of the artificial intelligence in the industry 4.0. And the application we're really going to talk about is renewable energy. Um, it's near and dear to my heart. That's um, one of the things that I've, I've been studying for years um, and think about in years. So we'll be looking at renewable energy and not just renewable energy, but how all of this kind of stuff, all this automation and all this faster communication with 5G and how artificial intelligence can affect the renewable energy industry. And here's just an example of uh, one of those things that might, might be happening in that industry. And then unit 10, we'll be looking at um, ethics and policy considerations of artificial intelligence. Um, so we end the course with this because um, it could have really broad implications about um, what will happen in the future. So just to give you some examples, um, there's lots of studies out there that say AI is biased. So we might think that if we have computers making decisions about resumes or um, other decisions in our daily life that they would be unbiased, but unfortunately, um, either the data we're feeding into it or um, you know whether we think about it or not we might be building bias into these algorithms so we um, will look at that and then we'll also look at things like deep fakes and uh, if you haven't heard of that um, there's this this is a video of, of Nixon saying things that um, he actually didn't say and it looks very believable and AI is uh, doing that so we'll think about the policy implications of that. And then um, one of the other things we'll think about is, is the policy implications of um, AI taking people's jobs. So this is one about lawyers, but um, we'll talk about truck drivers or all sorts of industries that might be affected by artificial intelligence. So that's sort of a very broad brush of the course. Um, what I wanna leave you with with this is that you will be asked at the very end of the course, this will be your main assessment, is to give a presentation and a paper. And you're gonna pick an industry or career field. Um, preferably it would be one that you wanna work in or are already working in. Um, and you wanna answer this question. How will advances in technology affect the industry and workers in it? And how might policy need to shift to address this change? So I wanted to start with the course with that because I want you thinking as we go through the course how you will, um, you might answer this question about and in what industry you might be picking. Um, and you will be giving a paper and a presentation on this. So start thinking about that now. And um, I'm looking forward to, um, to seeing many of those results at the end of the class.